What is up, everybody? All right. I thought I would um, make a video about my setup, kind of what I do and what I run. So this is an uh, innovative marine 30-gallon long. This is like the shallow reef. It is 36 inches by 12 by 14, and that sump in the back takes up 5 gallons of space and about 4 inches this way. So in reality, it's actually 10 inches wide. Um, let's see, over here I got my little jug, this is my salt water, and there I have my RO, I'll show you later for my ATO. Um, I have the JCOD DPL2 dosing pump down here. Um, I run, right now I'm doing uh, 4 milliliters of calcium and alkalinity of the um, B-ionic over here. Acropower, I do um, 1 milliliter per weekday. Feel that kind of keeps my nutrients where they should be. I think I need to do a little bit lower. Some of my corals are a little bit pale. Looks like some zeobit stuff going on, you know. Too uh, low nutrient. But, you know, I have an MP10 right here. That little uh, sticky note right there is to block that light at night because I sleep over here. Same thing goes for this refugium lighting. Um, let's see, the MP10 for flow. Then over here, I have my, uh, this is a J-Bow. I think this is like a 250, maybe a 320-gallon an hour pump. Um, that is on static, so that's on all the time. And then this is on random flow, so you have the front random and the back constant. Kind of does a nice little gyre. For my lighting, I have a PAR38. This is an 18-watt. I do that in the middle to avoid any shadowing from my SPS. I have two um, AI primes over here. This is my refugium light. It's a little CFL compact, compact fluorescent bulb. It's a hydroponic uh, bulb, so it's meant to actually grow plants. This is not one that I buy from Home Depot. Um, it grows my Chato really well. I had that on a nocturnal cycle and not on a diurnal cycle, so the exact moment they switch, turn, off, turn on and off. Keeps my pH somewhat steady. Down here, I have my RO unit. And there, I got my little power strip testing kit. Now that um, R unit goes to this ATO back here. Here's the sensor right there, right there. Yeah. I have an uh, eShops Nano Protein Skimmer. I like this skimmer a lot. Um, right now it's not doing too much skim. Um, I did just did a water change pretty recently, so my water's kind of clean right now. Um, you can see some of the skim it's got right there. It's pretty low. Uh, but the first, right when you get it, you kind of have to deal with some micro bubbles, but you get some filter floss and put it up, and it actually works really well. All right. I will do some close-up shots of the tank for everybody. Let me my brightness correct here. There we go. All right. There's a little... Panorama shower here. I say hello to the six line. Over here, I got my tail spot, Lenny. This is my sign arena. He's opened up. I put some polyp booster to open up the polyps for the video. So he's kind of awake right now. Same thing goes to my eight cans back there. Let's see. This uh, this rainbow possilopora, he fell down. A hermit crab actually knocked that whole colony off a while ago. It got like a. Um, um, kind of in the middle of the epoxy and the rock and split it so it popped off and it was actually touching that A-can back there and completely killed the top of it. <sighs> but it went some with some. There's my little island. I think it's actually doing really well. Little uh, rainbow, little digi, some zoas, a light can up here. Got a uh, spongiotes, bonsai, miscellaneous table. And all of his nodes are just taking off right now. It's crazy. The before and after shot is really cool of that, of this guy. It's really cool. He did not look like that when I put him up there. <laughs> this guy's really cool. He's really taking off. Um, same thing goes for this one. All those tips are new. Little red planet. Acropora valida. Tricolor, I believe. Um, Catropora. This is a miscellaneous. Can you find out what that species is? I love the polyp extension. And I put my royals on. That's yellow in the middle and then a, like a pink lemonade around it. Little Jason Fox cutting back there. It's really taken off on the back. 
I put another piece of it over there. It's not really doing too well. A little Millie, a new branch right there. Purple Monty, loving that. A little Satoza, a little nice Christmas chalice. <laughs> Some of my Zoas over here kind of closed up. The hermit crabs have been doing their job. So, a little wild colony with some really cool um, bright red and blue in the middle. But this um, this tank was really a work in progress, and this is my first successful saltwater tank. Um, I had them a lot when I was a kid, and they always never did too well. Um, but now we're going to got my own money and whatnot, and I'm responsible to do this tank, so I really put my thought into what I wanted to put. This whole tank's been on kind of a budget, so I'm really glad with how it turned out. Any questions or comments in the comment section. And thank you for watching.